Hello, I'm Jim Burns with Creative Communications How to Do It Yourself video series. Welcome. This video will show you how to take apart and then reassemble a Husky utility knife. If all you wanted to know was how to replace the blade, then click this link. Some folks get stumped trying to change the blade on a Husky utility knife because they're used to Stanley or generic box cutter knives where you take the handle apart to swap blades. This fun demo is for anyone who just likes to know how things work or for someone who took a Husky apart and would like some reassembly help. Let's start with a moment of taking this cleverly designed cutter apart. Husky allows you to swap out blades without any disassembly of the handle. Spare blades are stored in a spring-loaded compartment. One, two, three. To swap Husky blades, you extend the blade all the way out. Press the red button and then pull out the blade. To put the new blade in, get the edge back inside the handle. Adjust the angle till it slides all the way in. Peering around the knife, there's no obvious way to take it apart. Hmm, there's a tiny screw here. Maybe that'll do it. Well, that didn't work. Because I did this before, I know there's a bigger screw to hold the handle together, but it's hidden. It's underneath this red rubber handle. That's a clue you're not really encouraged to take the knife apart. The grip does come off. You have to pry it off. And here's our hidden handle screw. To reassemble, start with the aluminum handle section with a small round shaft in the center. We'll mount the blade assembly on these rails. Let the fun begin. Like Adam in Eden, we'll name things as we go along. Here's the blade carrier front view. Viewed from the back, the carrier has a vertical cavity on the left, a spring support shaped like a lowercase t, a round shaft, and a u-shaped indent. Let's name this the blade lock latch. It has a hole that fits the shaft on the blade carrier. Aha! A spring support and a curved um, thingamabob. Next is the brass thumb lever. At first glance, it looks identical front and back. But viewed from the side, you'll see that the shaft is not centered. You see this square? This is going to line up with indents on both sides of the knife handle to lock the blade in one of four positions. Locate the short, tightly wound spring. So now we start assembling. Lift the blade carrier so the back faces you. Hold the blade lock latch with your right hand by the pointed end. Turn it so the hole is at the bottom. Slide the latch onto the shaft. The spring goes between these two points. Compress the spring, then release onto the facing support pin. Excellent. Good job. Now, drop the other small spring into the cavity on the blade carrier. Slide the thumb lever in after it with the gap under the top of the lever facing you. The thin prong goes into the hole in the top of the spring. Press the thumb lever down and place the assembly across the rails in the carrier. Align the thumb lever with the back notch and release. The assembly is now under tension and will stay put. Notice this button has a thin side and a thick side. The thin side goes to the front of the knife. Get the other half handle and snap the blade release button. Before placing the cage in the knife handle, we'll need the red plastic cage lock latch. It looks like a tiny drink holder. Place the remaining long spring, skinny end first, into the latch hole. Now seat the blade cage. Examine the plastic cage that holds your spare blades. 
It should have a long spring attached. If not, attach it here at the skinny end of the spring. These tiny bumps act like an axle when the cage swivels up to dispense blades. Then drop the spring into this little cavity here and then line up the bumps onto this hole here. And after it's in there, use pressure to bring it down like that. Now slide the cage latch into the well shape so now this stays in place too. Put the rubber spacer in its slot at the tip of the handle, almost home free. We now carefully join the two sides of the knife handle. A series of pins and molded shapes align precisely to secure the blade assembly, blade release, and blade storage mechanisms. Put the tiny screw in the tip of the handle. Fasten the screw and nut. Align the nut in the hole with two flat surfaces. Test that all mechanisms move freely and smoothly. One more step. Press the rubber comfort grip into place. Congratulations. So here's an analogy for the spiritual life. God on one hand and a dirty bathroom. Before God is welcomed in, you have dirt in your life, but you barely notice. You use your bathroom many times a day, but hardly notice the mess. Your mom decides to visit. You see the bathroom through her eyes and spot big problems. When God comes into your life, He starts to clean you up with unconditional love. He offers forgiveness and peace. The closer you and God get, the more joyful your life becomes. Holiness, like a clean bathroom, is a lifetime process. With God, the impossible becomes possible. Thank you for liking and sharing this video. See you next time.